Hey everyone, hope you are doing well. My name is Beverly, welcome back to my channel. So I came out with a 30 minute mobility video a little while ago and I kept getting requests for more videos, more videos when it came to like mobility, stretching and recovery routines. If you haven't watched that one, I will link it below. This one will be kind of similar style, but different movements. And then at the end, I was thinking we could finish with like 10 minutes of core work. I never do core work, I should probably do it once a year, you know, once a year. All you guys will need are a ball and I grabbed a band. So go grab your ball and your band uh, cause we might use them. I haven't decided yet. All right, we are actually gonna use the band. We're gonna start with the band. So you're just gonna grab your band, let those shoulders relax. You're just gonna pull it up and over your head. Just opening up your chest. We're gonna do this five times. If you don't have a band, you could do it with a broomstick. Good. Coming a little higher on your knees. Band up in the air. Squeeze that core. Good, one more each side. Nice. From here, get your left foot up. We're just gonna turn. Use your right hand, lock it against your knee. Push your knee against that hand. side. Nice. Coming to a tabletop position. Hands directly underneath your shoulders. You're going to roll your spine up towards the ceiling. Shift your weight forward. back to child pose. Push your body kind of to the right, stretching into that lat. Good, one more time. Good, sit back. Look to the left. Good. Come up into downward dog. You're going to drive your spine towards your feet, pressing the spine in the opposite direction. Good. Come forward into a plank and push back. Forward into a plank. One more time. Drop your hips, and open up your chest, look over your left shoulder, and over your right. Good, back to 
center, really drop those hips. Feel a stretch in the front of your hips. And back to child's pose. From here, you're gonna take your left hand, walk it to the left. Take your right hand, walk it to the left. Lock your right hand underneath your left hand. And then you're gonna open up your chest slightly so you get a deep stretch down that right lat. side right hand to the right lock your left hand underneath and drop that shoulder stretch out that butt to your mat. You're going to bring your arms straight out. You're going to come up and nice and controlled. Bring your elbows down towards your ribs, compressing, engaging those lats. Hold it for a few seconds and then back down. that butt. One more. Good. From here, you're going to have your right hand at a 90 degree angle. You're going to keep, actually I'll do this side first. So left hand at 90 degree angle, getting your elbow, getting your chest down on the mat. If you want, you can extend your arm instead, whatever feels more comfortable for you. And you're just going to bring that foot across your body. shoulder on the mat. Nice. Good. Come back to your kneeling position. We're going to do some rotation. So we're going to sit back onto our heels. Take your right hand, thread it between your left hand and your legs, and then open up five times. out back in child pose. Good. 
Come to a kneeling position, take that right arm, bring it behind your head, and then sort of lean your body so you get your tricep stretch and a stretch all down your side. Good, and this time just straight upright, focusing more on the tricep. Other side. Good. Whew. Place your arms in front of you and kind of sit back, feeling a stretch in your forearms. back and forth a little bit. One more. Nice. From here, you're going to come to your butt, have your fingers facing your butt. You can either lift your butt up or keep your butt on the ground, but you're going to shift forward so you're feeling a steep stretch in the front of your shoulders. Extend those legs, come to an upright seated position, and then swing that right leg around. Nice. From here, take your left hand, you're going to reach it up and over your head. You should feel a deep stretch down in your lower back on the left. Good, so we're making our way down our body. We're gonna focus quite a bit on our hips now, okay? So you're gonna come to a 90-90 position. So your front leg is at a 90 degree angle. Your back leg's also at a 90 degree angle. You're gonna try to get your knee all the way down to the mat. Turn a little to the side so you can see a bit better. My hip is very closed on this side, so I have a little bit of trouble with my mobility here. But that's okay. So place hand, your hands on either side, one on the side of your knee and one on the side of your foot, and you're just gonna fall forward. Good, bring your hands over and we're gonna go over the knee a little bit. And come around to your foot. Back up. We're going to sweep across. Good. Another way. Nice. This time we're just going to go down again, straight to the center. Switch sides. So now your right leg is at a 90 degree angle. Your back leg is the left leg. It's also at a 90 degree angle. Good. Over to your foot. 
but over to your knee. Good, we're gonna slide across. One more time, just straight forward. Nice. Whew. Now we're gonna get the front of our hip. So you can either come up to a low lunge and pull back, or you could stay on your knee, it's up to you but you should be looking for a stretch in this front hip flexor. So in this position, you're gonna squeeze your butt. When you squeeze your butt, you get a much deeper stretch all down the front. And you're just gonna bring your arms up and back. Keep that butt squeezed. Bring that back leg up, right leg back, switch sides. Remember, squeeze that butt. my lateral hips so if you don't have a ball you can use a roller and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick it right kind of where my hip socket is and where it feels the most tight you might need to play around Actually, I'm gonna time this we'll do about a minute on each side ball to like a tennis ball because that's a little bit softer. Oh, I found a good spot. Ooh, another 15 seconds. And we are definitely doing our glutes after this. I can feel my glutes really need this. 10 more seconds. sides. Same thing. Find a spot that feels like a little tight, a little uncomfortable. Oh, I'm right on that spot. Don't forget to breathe.
Oh, I can tell I haven't done this in a while. I usually do this like once a week and I like can feel how tight everything feels. Oh. All right guys, 10 seconds. Try to relax. And release, nice. Whew. All right, we're gonna do something similar, except we're gonna do it on our glutes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place that ball right underneath your butt and same thing. We're gonna spend maybe a minute to a minute and a half and you're just gonna, again, find a spot that feels very tender and tight and like it needs to release. For me, it's very up close to my glute need.
just going to finish with a couple groin stretches and then a hamstring stretch and then we'll get into the core work. So I'm just going to be bringing my knees wide and I'm just going to rock my hips back and forth on my forearms. Back. I'm just going to hold here for 10 seconds. Nice. Coming up to your hands, you're going to sit up. You're going to bring your left knee up and bring it to a 45 degree angle. And then you're just going to shift your hips forward, place your hand on the ground and open up. Nice. And then bring your foot even more to the side, same thing. Good. And with that same leg, extend and stretch that hamstring. Try to bring your toes as close as you can to your face. Nice. Good. Tuck that leg under. Same thing on the other side. Right leg up. 45 degree angle. You're going to bring your hips forward. Place your hand down. Open up. the side. My camera died so I had to <laughs> recharge the battery uh, but now I'm back at it. So where were we? We were down here with the rotation and the hamstring stretch. about 30 minutes. I hope you enjoyed that part of the video and if you want to stick around, I'm going to do like 10 minutes of core work, um, just some super basic stuff. Uh, I really don't like training abs so I'm just doing it because I haven't done abs in a while as I said. So let's get into it. We're going to start on our backs and we're going to do alternating heel taps for one minute. Just getting into it. Keeping that low back on the ground. Good, nice and controlled. Nice, come on, 10 seconds. Keep that back flat, no space between your hat or your back and the mat. Good, and relax. Woo. Next, we're gonna go into a toe tap with a leg drop. So again, one minute. Legs as straight as you can in the air. And go, you're gonna reach for those toes. Nice and controlled leg drop again. Think about that low back. If your back starts to raise, just do a little bent leg tap, okay? Nice and controlled, not trying to rush this.
good. 25 more seconds. Ten seconds left. Come on, one more. Nice. Woo. Turning into our front. Forearm plank. Going in five seconds. One minute hold. Elbows are directly underneath the shoulders. Try to bring your forearms so they're not, so your hands aren't touching. Don't let your shoulder blades sink. Push away from the floor. eccentric um, motion on the way down. We're gonna do that again. Give our core a little break. And then we're done. 10 minutes of abs, that's all we need. Get a sip of water. Try not to spill it all over you. All right, round two, going in five seconds. Three, two, and go. Remember that low back. We're nice and controlled here. Breathe up on the way out. Hold your breath, inhale, release on the way up. Good. Halfway. Always pressing that spine into the mat. Don't ever let it lift. Good, 15 seconds, guys. And last one. 
great work. Whew. All right, next one. Remember, toe tap, lifting our shoulders off the mat. Leg drop. Three, two, go. Nice and controlled on the way down. If you need to, you can plant your hands on the mat. To be honest, if I wasn't filming this, I would absolutely stop. Oh, my abs are like, you never do this. Oh. 30 seconds. Come on. all that kind of stuff to just like take a sec and let your body breathe and just like feel your muscles so if you like this one and you haven't seen my other video go check it out I'll link it in the description and I hope you guys have an amazing day